I'm excited here, Perez. It's quite the bold one here. Look, guys, everybody you'll see, content creators, sports bettors, everybody in the space that bets on props, 99% of people are going to start their season off by betting overs, 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 overs. And a lot of people on Friday morning are going to be very disappointing when they find out that not every over is going to hit, especially in the first game of the season. So I've decided to kind of make a bold pick here, take an under involving Patrick Mahomes, which is always risky. But I'm going to go under 35 and a half yards for his longest pass completion. Now, Baltimore, this Ravens team was the number one team in yards per attempt allowed last season. Worth noting, KC was actually number three in this category as well. But I think, you know, the Ravens have such a dynamite offense, but they don't get enough credit for their defense. And even KC last year, their offense is still great. Sure, they've got Kelsey. Sure, they have Mahomes. But their defense did win them a lot of games. And I will definitely die on that hill. And when you look at some of the individual numbers for longest reception for some of these players, Kelsey, 20 and a half. Xavier Worthy, 20 and a half. Most people I've spoken to and I've talked about this pick to, they said, yeah, but dude, you know, Xavier Worthy gets one pass. That could be for 45 yards and you're screwed. I think that maybe the chemistry could take some time, but also his number is 20 and a half. Ask yourself, why is Xavier Worthy's number 20 and a half for his longest reception if Patrick Mahomes' number is 35 and a half here for his longest completion? To me, the first game, no matter which team you are, Super Bowl champs or the worst team in the league, takes some time. And the longer time that things take, the more field goals, the more kind of punts, the longer we get into the game, the less time for an explosive play. To me, this is a lot of yards here, guys, for the first game of the season. Despite it being Patrick Mahomes, I'm going to go under 35 and a half yards here. So I just went back and looked at game logs for the last two years. I was last doing year, the same games, thing. <laughs> first eight games last year, uh, he went 33 yards or more in every game in 2022. He was at uh, 35 yards, I believe, plus in every game, or, or 30 plus yards in every game through week 13. You uh, gave kind of a, a, a rhetorical question of why is Worthy 20 and a half and all the receivers at 20 and a half, but Mahomes is at 30, what is it, 35 and a half? And obviously the answer to that is because each receiver is only one guy, but Mahomes gets to yes. throw to all the guys. Um, but given his track record, all right. And given the fact that we're not talking about a ridiculously high number here. I mean, to me, this is a bet. Is it really better than a coin flip here? Talk to me. Well, I think it's it's not as much that I'm dismissing the Chiefs and Mahomes as giving respect towards the Ravens defense and their team overall. I, I think that's what I want to be clear here with is that I'm not coming on here and saying, you know, Patrick Mahomes isn't capable because that would be just a horrible statement to make. That's just not true. Um, the fact is Baltimore number one in the league last year in, in yards per attempt allowed this defense has made big plays. And again, I think we did see a lot more dinking and dunking out of KC last week. I'm not saying they can't throw the ball deep and yeah, Teddy, one play could burn me and it could be the third pass of the game and it'll be horrible. But I think this number at 35 and a half, I think it's, it's worth betting the under on, especially in the first game of the season against this Baltimore team worth noting. Um, Cause I figured maybe you would have asked this uh, as well Is I do actually lean towards the under in this game. If that means anything, if that correlates uh, whatsoever, I do think this game overall could go under the total. 